Well, the war in Ukraine has lasting implications. Europe's second largest country now has landmine litter, which is endangering the lives of its people. Ukraine is now one of the most mined countries in Europe. Civilians are blown up and killed every week. As history has it, since 2014, the east of Ukraine fought with Russia-backed separatists. And because of this, it was already world's most mine-contaminated region. Since February 24th, which marked Russia's full-time invasion of Ukraine, the scale and the complexity of dangers in the region have multiplied. Anywhere that, that troops moved through, anywhere that they stayed for any extended period of time, they appear to have laid anti-tank mines in order to defend their positions. And we're, behind me is a, is a Russian military position, and in front of it they laid anti-tank mines. And, and one of those anti-tank mines hit a tractor, destroyed it, um, and you know has closed off an area of these fields for cultivation. That we're seeing that those circumstances replicated all across you know the areas where where there was fighting often the victims of these blasts are farmers and workers with little choice but to use mine roads and plow mine fields because they are under immense pressure from agricultural companies that have leased their lands for cultivation people are are very eager to cultivate the land they want to plant crops they're expecting you know to be able to deliver grain to the rest of the world the the agricultural companies that rent lease the land here are under huge pressure to generate food uh, and that's that's basically driving them um, so people are taking risks they're taking risks that that might surprise you and i but they're feeling under pressure to do so Ukraine's state emergency services said that 300,000 square kilometers must be cleared of mines, an area the size of Arizona or even Italy. The task of clearing this deadly litter of mines will take years, years to rebuild what months of war has destroyed. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.